we target about 150,000 of them a month on, on retargeting. And uh, so we go through them about twice a year. I don't know the exact number uh, on how it turns over, but, uh, but we, we have about three quarters of a million. Roughly, in roughly right speaking, now. on the 150,000 that we're remarketing to every month, uh, roughly speaking, about 30,000 of them are coming back to search for homes on Ro on Robert's site. And so, and so what we do with those 30,000, for example, is, um, is they, they hand become hand raisers. So we have two call centers, we have three actually, with one in Ocala that gets to every lead as it comes in from realtor.com within three seconds. And that's all they do. We have one in the Philippines, we have 60 people in the Philippines and they, contact every hand raiser on Wailopo in the northern part of Florida. If they're in the southern part of Florida, then uh, our Venezuela um, call center gets them because they're bilingual, the Philippine one is not. Uh, so we use the, the Venezuelan call center for uh, Miami, Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties. But they reach out to every one of these hand raisers that we have and then through follow-up boss, they set a live handoff to an agent in that zip code. That's awesome. That's so that's really how, because awesome. we found out that if we leave our agents on the ground to do it, after 30 days, psh, they never touch them. So. Yeah. Actually on that real quick, I mean, just sitting in our database right now, Robert, we've got about 10,000 Y prior hand raisers. We, we can't even get to call them all with the team we've got. So we've got about 100 people calling every day uh, and they can't even keep up with the Y priority leads coming in from the, from the remarketing. It's, it's phenomenal. Don, let me ask you a specific question. Are you guys calling all of the Y priority alerts, hand raisers? Or are, you, are there certain types of alerts that you're calling hand raisers? Uh, we call them all uh, from the pool. So we've got uh, uh, in our database, obviously, we've got those in our pool. Now, what the agents are doing with them, we're getting them more even hyper focused on, on uh, being aware of those leads. Um, but whether they're a YPRI, whatever, regardless of what it is, we're reaching out. Now, obviously, we do train them to look and if it's, you know, AI responded and the person says, don't ever call me again or we're going to hunt you down and kill you. Obviously, we're not going to place that phone call. Um, but anything else is fair game. And, you know, we, we basically got the team set up to ask that one magic question. Are you going to be buying a home in the next four months? If the answer is yes, we're connecting them live to an agent and, and we're off and rolling. Guys, Howard. yeah, go ahead, Barry. Yeah. What's, what's really interesting about hearing the slacks, I mean, because, you know, they've obviously the slack team is like taken what we all want to do and, and multiplied it due to the size. And what they've been able to do is really to represent that you can create portal type lead quality with the right processes. And so what they've done is they're just, they're running ads to this massive database, monitoring all the alerts, and then, then they've implemented salespeople to call and work. So honestly, from the agent's perspective, they probably feel like it's pretty similar because they're still getting a bottom of funnel opportunity. The really the only difference is, it's so much more profitable now for the Slack team compared to, you know, the ever increasing costs of the portals, well, which really was the impetus of this meeting. Yeah. So our live handoffs close at about uh, four times the rate of our realtor.com leads. And, and so, Barry, and, check and this out. Right? No cost in the live handoff because the, the people in the Philippines are so inexpensive, you know, uh, uh, that uh, our, our live handoffs, the cost on them is relatively low and they're closing to, at a much higher rate than what, uh, our bottle leads up. Yeah, we're actually seeing about a 20, 25 percent uh, uh, close rate on our our live handoffs. So when we're and and keep in mind these are all pools, so they're not just pay per click. They're uh, like Mike was mentioning. You know, we realized uh, a while back the twenty twenty sixty rule twenty percent transact now, which is what we've been eating off of for the past five years. Twenty percent are never going to transact. The other sixty percent are going to buy between six months and two years, right? And all of those people have been sitting in our pool for five years now, and we're moving them through the system now. And that's where we're, we're really able to capitalize on that. And what I'm really excited about the pay-per-click, and I know G and I meet on this pretty regularly, is even if we're not connecting with the PPC lead immediately, their activity is much greater. We're seeing a much higher return to site 
rate than we do the, the realtor.com leads. Um, so all of the activity is identical or better than a realtor.com lead. We just have to let them ferment a while longer. We've only been in this about 90 days now, I guess. So we're starting to see that movement where they're moving through the process and the funnels filling up. Mike, so I'd like something? to add this too. You know, if you really look and reverse engineer the goal, what I love about Robert is he's got a goal in mind. I, I need a database this big. Now you can spend $100, $200, $300 per lead to get it that big, or you can spend it between $3 and $13 per lead to get it that big. It depends on which way you want to go. And if you do it the way that I think works better is you kind of mix it, like Howard said at the beginning of the hour. You know, what some people keep, you know, some portal leads, some people will keep some PPC leads, some Facebook. If you have the right mix and the right strategy, you're getting enough stuff for your agents to keep them motivated. Let's face it, guys. Agents don't love it when they're busting their butt making calls and they're trying hard and nobody's transacting. They lose momentum pretty quickly. They need a win. You need to get them some wins. But ultimately, your goal should be, I want a database this big, whatever number that is, because it's going to have enough going on in it every year. I'm going to keep closing more. Every year, we end up closing more from the same database that we did the year before because those leads keep nurturing and turning over at a better rate. So that's, that's the goal. It, you know, if the goal is only to get your agents some fast wins today, you're missing 80 to 90% of the value of a database. We've, we've actually kind of one up that even with our new agents that come into uh, to our division now uh, before they even start getting live leads. So live, ha live or not live leads, but, but um, leads coming directly to their database. We're front loading them with about 100 pool leads. Uh, all YPRI hand raiser. Uh, so we're seeing agents coming into our brokerage now that have are under contract in less than 30 days. We've got more than more than one agent, multiple deals in less than 30 days. We've got a guy in our traditional division. He's got six pending. He's been with us 45 days, all from working pool leads. Uh, it, it's just phenomenal. And, and look, guys, we understand. Okay, this panel, big teams. Okay, big organizations. They have the luxury of doing a lot of things that not all of us can do. So let's understand that. We have a lot of people in our audience today who are like, okay, that's great. You know, Robert Sykes got 750,000 leads and they're bringing back, you know, they're nurturing 150,000 a month. And they got call centers all over the world. But what about me, right? So here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Everything these guys have talked about as a process works, whether you're five agents on the team, 50 or 500, I promise you. So if you're really small and you're in the audience right now, you're really small, set an initial tangible goal. Let's call it 10,000 leads. Not a million leads, let's call it 10,000 leads. Let's take you through the math, okay? So you say to yourself, okay, in four years, I'm gonna get to 10,000 leads, four years. Now you know you've gotta build up your database, 2,500 leads a year for four years. With 10,000 leads, if you close two tenths of 1%, you're now doing 20 deals a month, guys. 20 deals a month, 240 deals a year. That's only 10,000 leads because you've got 2,000 of those 10,000 leads coming back to search every single month. You are investing in your business long term, right? And you'll never get to that 10,000 leads on $100 a lead, $150 a lead, or whatever it is on the portal is. Like, it's not gonna happen. 